Hello, my name is Alexander Jensenius and I'm a professor of music technology at the University of Oslo in Norway. Um, I'm also chair of the NIME steering committee. And today I'm here to introduce um, a workshop that we're going to run at this year's conference uh, called NIME Publication Ecosystem Workshop. And I called it ecosystem because it's kind of just like in nature that we have here. Um, it's important to have uh, to think about publications as, as part of a larger uh, thing type of things we're doing uh, and to see how we can build uh, an ecosystem within our community that supports this in, in different ways. Of course you can say that the current uh, situation we have in, around the world is based on the corona uh, virus crisis where we have had to uh, to run an online conference this year but this has also sparked off uh, uh, moving forward with the ideas of, of thinking more broadly about how we can develop our community further also in thinking about different types of publication venues um, of course this is also connected to climate change that is something that we also need to consider as a community and uh, particularly as we travel around the world we need to think more carefully about how we can develop new strategies where we may also want to reduce the travel in the years ahead and we also have to think about all the different types of outputs that we have in our community that we do support in different ways. Uh, everything from presenting interfaces, etc. in normal papers, but also more recently it's become more important to also support the publication of data, software, um, and also we need to have better solutions for how to handle performances and installations and the artistic side of things in our community. Um, in addition to that, um, there is a lot of discussion about open research these days. Now, NIME has been open from the start, so in that sense we, uh, we are have been embracing the open research principles for a long time, but we also need to figure out how we can develop this further in the context of all the different types of uh, output that's, that I just mentioned. And we need to think about diversity, which, uh, which is something that we haven't been able to tackle properly in our community so far. And we need to think about that, how to move forward and be, be more inclusive uh, in every single way in the years to come. Um, Another thing we still need to, to think about is how to continue to support both artistic and scientific activities in our community and ideally also the combination of this in, in different constellations. Um, and this of course is important also for people's career development because we realize that NIME, the NIME conference is important for many people's careers and, and their CVs and how they move around um, in the world. So we need to think about that carefully also when we design the systems that we do in terms of ensuring uh, quality and also supporting the different types of uh, well, career development strategies that people have. So, that's kind of everything that we need to kind of consider uh, in different ways and that's also the big question that we will try to tackle at this workshop. It should be said that this workshop that we have at this year's conference is a follow-up from previous workshops we've had at several uh, previous times where we have been discussing different types of archives and also possibilities of establishing a journal. So just to kind of uh, briefly uh, recapitulate some of this. Um, you can think about the current setup in our community like this, where we have the conference that's going to be the, the kind of the annual focal point, where we have multiple ways of getting into the conference, either if you publish more traditional scientific papers, uh, or if you have performance or installations or demos. And we also on the other side we have our online archive, which is a great resource in our community, uh, but which is mainly focused on the scientific the, uh, texts and the papers that we have uh, published. So um, we don't really have a good support for, for the other uh, inputs here, and that's also an, another problem we need to tackle. Now, a different way of thinking about this um, that we have been discussing over the years is to have kind of a, a different input here where we can come into a more of an, like you can call it an archive type of thing in the sense of a kind of bio-archive and, and etc. Uh, which could be a, uh, some kind of NIME archive where people would start by uh, adding stuff there. Um, this is a non-peer-reviewed resource where the idea is that you will submit whatever you have also something like uh, it's done in, in with the research catalog and then at some point you will submit it to uh, a conference 
which will be the annual uh, physical conference, or it could be a virtual conference perhaps. Uh, but anyways, the most important part here is that we have a peer review step here to, to check for the quality of what is, what is published there at the conference. In addition to that, we may think of having a new journal, which is uh, kind of running in parallel here, where we could have, think about either it can be um, further development of um, things that have been presented at the conference, then that will have to go to a new peer review step, or it could be material that is, is coming from the archive here, sent directly to peer review and then published in the journal. Whatever way, the main point here is that the journal will be allowing for more substantial work to be presented um, and uh, will therefore also kind of be an add-on add -on to all what we already have in the community. Now, this may sound easy in theory, but it's of course more difficult in practice. Um, we're thinking about how to handle this in terms of ensuring enough high enough quality. And again, this is important for the career development we talked about earlier. Uh, and then also st the stability of the resources that we are making are you know, extremely important. Uh, we of course also want to be innovative and experimental, but it's also something how to kind of handle this together. Uh, we still also want this ideally to be free and of course also open um, so that it's possible to uh, continue building on whatever we are presenting here um, and we, it's also very important to then uh, further develop uh, our thinking about how to be inclusive um, and also continue to be a welcoming uh, community. So that's the different things we need to consider and the aim then of the workshop is to try to figure out how do we actually do this uh, because now we have been talking about this for a long time um, but it's more challenging to figure out how we can actually get started doing this. So welcome to this workshop. Uh, it will be running both as an asynchronous and asynchronous activity. So we will have material being presented beforehand like this video and some other videos and texts. And then we'll have the actual workshop, which will be two one hour slots uh, during the conference. And also the material from there will be then uh, kept for further uh, work after the workshop. So please take part in any uh, or all of these activities and I'm really looking forward to see how we can develop this further together.